You know, I really don't like crowds and I just like to be alone with my bike most of the time, right? I'm not antisocial, but I kind of feel that space is much better for me. A country boy at heart, you might say. A country boy at heart. Me, the open road and the heroic Harley, or any bike for that matter, or any car actually, for that matter. As long as the, the road is uh, wide open and free of traffic and away from the, the bustling crowds, the horde, as it were. So that's why you'll never catch me at somewhere like Sturgis, which is just about to occur now in the United States. That's why I would always say, don't go to big bike rallies, especially Sturgis. Why? Let me entertain you. One, there's just too many damn people there. Too many wannabes, too many people wanting to search for a, a biking experience. And they're, they're willing to travel miles, whether ride, whether on a trailer, whether in a van, whatever it is whether to fly internationally, whether just to go there to make YouTube videos, whatever it is. And I think somewhere along the line, they miss what the, the point of going to a motorcycle rally is all about. And I think these really big rallies have totally lost what it was supposed to be. For me, anyway. Maybe not for you, but for me. See, bike rallies are about, yeah, a good time. They're about bikes, of course. They're about, I don't know, camping. They're about, yeah, they're about vendors and buying stuff and eating stuff. But it's a, about being immersed within a culture, within a community. And I'm just not sure that at somewhere like Sturgis, you're getting any of that now. In fact, I think all you're getting is a shitload of people and a load of overpriced stuff and a load of commercialism, which kind of works well if that's what you're into. I'm just not. Now this is not just against Sturgis and this is just not against any big motorcycle rally in the United States or whether it's in the UK, Europe, or whatever it is, Faro and Portugal, whatever it is. It doesn't make any difference. For me, if I go to these places, and I've been to these places before, I've been to these big events before of course, I just kind of feel a little bit lost, I feel a little bit, and, and dare I say it, I feel disconnected and I feel bored with it. And that's not what it should be about. See, I go to other motorcycle rallies or other motorcycle events a lot smaller, a lot more intimate. And whether I'm there by myself or with a group of friends, you just feel a lot more connected to it. It feels more part of it. It, it feels right that you're there and, you know, being entertained by it. And you're contributing to that, you know, that feeling as well. So the smaller it is, kind of the less is more if you know what i mean the less is more now i'm not sure if i'm alone in this thinking i'm not sure if you know uh it's just some guy in the uk who rides and says i'm never gonna go to uh you know to someone like sturgis and being a youtuber and blogger i suppose i try and differentiate myself from other bloggers and, uh, and youtubers in that i'm not really here to grab your attention to persuade you to do something i'm just here kind of just giving you my thoughts and giving you my impressions and observations and that's kind of where i see myself doing this kind of stuff i'm more of an observer I'm more of a uh you know a listener and i kind of observe and listen some of the things that i pick up in the ether and there's there has been a growing feeling over a number of years that these huge motorcycle events have kind of just become places that people want to tick off their bucket list as it were or they they just want to go to for the experience as opposed to being something that you're really going to enjoy now, don't get me wrong I'm sure that people have a great time there. And I'm not here to say that Sturgis is crap and, you know, uh, I don't know, any other big motorcycle event is crap. I'm not saying that at all, far from it. And I'm sure you can have a great time. I'm sure I would have a great time at certain times or certain places. But I'm saying it's just not something that I would naturally go to these days because I just prefer the smaller events. I prefer the open road. I just don't like clutter. And I think when you go to places that attract a lot of people just because they're riding a bike 
doesn't necessarily mean that they're your kind of people either. And I know from past experience that it does attract dickheads. Let's put it that way. Come on, let's be let's be right about it. It attracts a load of dickheads. Now, whether it's an age thing, whether it's a bike thing, whether it's a you know a different style thing, but you know there's going to be attracting all sorts of different people, all sorts of different walks of life, which can be a great thing, of course, can be a great benefit, but also it can be jarring, and especially when you're getting loads of people in one place riding their bikes and they're riding like complete arseholes as well. Or, and, and you think, what, what are you doing? What are you doing? You know, you're acting like a complete nonce here. So that's where it starts to gripe a little bit. It's not only the number of people, but it's also, are they your kind of people? And is, is the event your kind of event? Whether it's music, whether it's food, whether, you know, you know, whether it's somewhere to sleep, where it's somewhere to camp, where it's somewhere to stay in a hotel, that kind of thing. And if you're having to pay so much more, you know, like a mortgage just to attend these places that you're not really going to enjoy, then it kind of asks yourself, well, why bother going in the first place? You go because you think you're going to have this great motorcycling experience, this great biker experience. But maybe that biker experience isn't for you and maybe you should be looking for something else anyway. I don't know. But hey, let us know your thoughts on this. All I can say for me, I just prefer some places just off the beaten track. Uh, smaller groups, smaller events, something that's a bit more intimate, something that's a bit more on the open road, something that, well, motorcycle riding was all about. Not to go into a crowd, but just to ride away from the crowd and be something completely different. Yeah, let us know your thoughts. Right, I'm off to get away from the crowds. Ta-ra.